Horses on the track for the fourth race, Superfecta. Condition pace with exacta trifecta pick three and Superfecta wagering. Number one is Lover's Prince, owned by Lancaster, Ames, Connor, and Rosenberg with Jim Morrill Jr. Number two, Mel's One, owned by Eddie Sager, John Kimball. Number three, CB's Julius, co-owned by Bonnie Jacobs and Ray Gwinnett, Ray Gwinnett driving. Number four, Sledge, owned by Cheryl Hammond, Mitch Jaffe, and Howard Kaufman with Mike Lachance. Number five, Louis Manfredi's Northern Creek, Ross Wolfenden. Number six, the Bell Valley Farms Yankee Blitz, Ron Pierce. Number seven, Play It Smart, owned by Donald Bruin with Sam DePinto. Number eight, Heartburn HR, Dave Miller up for Ron and Constance Kanigi. Mike Mathios owns number nine, Scoundrel Hanover with Luke Wallet. And just ahead of him in the post parade, number 10, I've Been Thinking, owned by Susan Cleaver. Jim Doherty is in Sulky. No changes for the fourth, another Lowenstein Sandler Law Firm. A field of 10 for the fourth race, condition pace, Superfecta, lined up in behind the gate, moving toward the start. And they're off. Yankee Blitz timed the gate, looking to leave out of there. Sledge is quicker, though, to his inside. And from the rail, there goes Lover's Prince, who will battle for the lead early. CB's Julius is in tight quarters there, angling toward the inside as Mel's won. And now forced to take back as Sledge, who's caught out there three wide. Yankee Blitz is racing in fifth, and Sledge settles in against the pylons in front of him. Northern Creek is sixth, and it's play it smart. Seventh, Heartburn HR is hard held. Miller wrestling with him in eighth. Ninth and looking to drop in a scoundrel Hanover opening quarter 27 and 4 at the back of the pack as I've been thinking at Heartburn HR is on the move on the outside from eighth position as they head down the back stretch and Lover's Prince leads the field. CB's Julius parked and pressing on the outside. Mel's one is in the pocket. He's racing in third. Yankee Blitz is tipped to the outside alongside of Sledge picking up cover sixth on the outside is Northern Creek. Up the rail is Play It Smart, a handful once again. Heartburn HR, who's fourth over in the flow as they reach the half in 55 and 3. Ninth is Scoundrel Hanover. Heartburn HR, three wide. Miller fighting with Heartburn HR, and he shows him some racetrack. Three deep on the outside as they come around the turn with three eights to go. And I've been thinking is gearing up from the back of the pack, and he's following the three wide rally. So six lengths would cover the entire field. They're tightly bunched here with Lover's Prince in front. Yankee Blitz coming up three deep towards second. Mel's one needs room. Three quarters, 124 and three. CB's Julius clogging fourth in between horses still trying to come on heartburn hr on the outside it's lovers prince with an eighth of a mile to go he's two lengths in front mel's one is giving chase in the pocket in second i've been thinking in the middle of the racetrack charging hard on the outside lovers prince mel's one i've been thinking lovers prince mel's one one last surge lovers prince holds on mel's one was second i've been thinking third and sledge a trapped in fourth 152 and results four. official in the winner's circle number one lovers prince four-year-old illinois bred by incredible finale out of love her by windshield wiper on by lancaster ames connor and rosenberg of new jersey and new york trained by mark lancaster jim morrill jr is in the sulky lovers prince scoring in 152 and four fifths career best effort for him in the winner's circle we welcome anita cohen terry johnson mary Kay dunning and Scott Luffplus with the Lowenstein Sandler Law Firm Group making the trophy presentation. Number one, Lover's Prince pays 820, six even, 320. Finishing second, number two, Mel's one, 10 even, 360. And third, number 10, I've been thinking 260 to show. Exact a one and two, 8580, one, two, 10 try, 41760. One dollar, super fact.